Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you my entire workflow in Capture One, how I turned a flat photo into a contrasty, saturated, and dramatic photo. If you are interested in Capture One, now you can save 10% by using the coupon code AMBCAI. Check out more information and more tutorials in the description below. Also, I want to say thank you because recently my YouTube channel hit 5K subscribers and I really want to say thank you to every one of you. Uh, thank you for your support. Thank you for your views. Thank you for your shares. Thank you for your likes. Thank you for your comments. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to do a giveaway on my YouTube channel very soon. So please stay tuned. Now let's jump over to the computer and take a look at Capture One. Now this is the photo in Capture One. Overall it is a very flat photo right now. As you can see on the histogram here, the first thing I'm going to change is go to Levels tool and click on this A button for auto adjusting. And Capture One will automatically set the black point, midpoint and the white point. For landscape photos, I usually pull this black point a little bit further into the histogram to add a bit more contrast and also update the midtone point to add a bit more contrast in the photo. And also I can use this curve tool and I can just do a simple S curve to add a contrast into this photo. Now I see the sky is too bright. The photo was shot on a stormy day and there was a lot of details in the clouds. I want to bring all those details back. So what I can do is I can come here to the high dynamic range tool and I push highlight slider all the way to the right hand side to bring down highlight. And I think I can bring the details from highlight even further. I can create a new layer and I'm, I, I'm going to double click to rename this layer to clouds. Then I can right click on this tool and then select gradient mask. So now I can press shift and draw a gradient mask. Then you can press M to see what you have selected. If you are happy with the mask, then I can come here to this exposure tool. Just use the exposure slider, move it to the left hand side to reduce exposure. So that looks good to me. And I see there is a little spot right there. So I can use the removal, remove spot tool. And then I can click on this spot to remove it. Now I want to edit colors in this photo. There are a couple of ways to do. The first thing I can, uh, I can increase saturation in this photo to bring the colors more, to bring the color out a little bit more. And then uh, I can go to, oh, make sure you have, make sure you have the background selected. So I'm, I'm going to go to the background layer. So that way my change will apply to the entire photo. Then I can increase saturation a little bit. And then I'm going to this color tool tab and then under color editor, under this advanced tab, I can use this color picker to pick a color from the mountain. I want to work on that color first. And that's the range of colors that I selected. But I don't want to select those saturated colors. I want to only work on those colors that are less saturated. So I can move this range towards the center of the circle. So that way I will change the less saturated part of the colors. And I can change the lightning, saturation, hue, and the smoothness. For this color, I want to change lightness first. I want to make it brighter because it was lit by the sunlight. But when I increase the lightness, I also lose saturation. So I also want to increase saturation a little bit. Now I want to make this part brighter. Let me grab the annotation tool. So this part is dark and it's a little bit blue. This part is warm red color and it's bright. So I want to enhance the separation right there. So what I can do is I can create an, another layer. I'm going to call that dodge and right click on this tool and then select brush. And then I can draw right here. You can press M 
to see what you have selected. I'm going to just do a very simple mask here and then go back to the exposure tool tab and increase the exposure to make it brighter and also uh, push the saturation a little bit further. All right, this is before, this is after. Also, you can right click on this tool and select Erase Mask to erase the mask where you don't want it. All right. Now for this photo, I want to add vignetting. So you can come down here to the vignetting tool and then just push this to the left hand side. Now let's take a look at before and after. This is before. The image is very flat. It doesn't have contrast. It doesn't have saturation. And this is after. We just used a couple of clicks on these adjustments tools and then we add a contrast, we add a saturation, and we add uh, more drama into the clouds. We Overall, we made this photo more dramatic. All right, that's it from me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, please click on the thumbs up button below. And if you are not subscribed already, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more photography tips and tutorials and the future giveaway. Also remember, if you want to try out Capture One, now you can save 10% by using the coupon code AMBCAI. Check out more information and tutorials in the description below. All right, guys, I hope you have a fantastic day and I hope to see you next time. Bye.